What is it about modern Christianity that makes it so ineffective? How is it that even those who regularly attend at some of the biggest, most successful churches walk out the door and show no change in their lives? How can some attend a sound congregation every time the doors are open and then go home and watch all manner of garbage on television or post hateful things online? Well, friends, in a word, it is compartmentalization. It's the practice of having a religious, churchy part of your life as just one of many parts, rather than as the principle that governs all the rest. Unlike putting your phone in one pocket and your keys in another, we can't have God in one part of our lives and the rest of our lives in other pockets. God wants to own all of our life. God wants to be in all of the pockets of our life. As Hudson Taylor said, Christ is either Lord of all or not Lord at all. There are scriptures throughout the New Testament which could sufficiently make this point. But in Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20, Paul says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Friends, I don't have parts of my life that remain separate from Christ's lordship. If I am a child of God, I'm dead and he lives within me. Every pocket of my being is his. And to put this in practical terms, just think about what you might have on your person right now. For example, your watch belongs to Christ. Friends, we're all given 24 hours in a day. That time belongs to him, though. As James 4, verses 13 through 16 tells us, our lives are but a vapor, and we aren't guaranteed tomorrow. And so we should commit all of our plans to God's will. And we should make time in our lives for assembling with the saints, for our personal walk with him, and for the good works that he has prepared for us to do. Also, our wedding ring belongs to Christ. Now, our culture believes marriage can look like whatever we want it to look like. We're told, do whatever works for you. But before anything else, Christ has first say. And he has given commands on the roles and the duties of husbands and wives in Ephesians 5 and in 1 Peter 3, but also for parents. And so... While our society today says, do whatever works in your marriage, we as children of God understand that our marriage belongs to Christ, and we are to function as husbands, wives, and parents in the way that he has dictated. Also, we see that our keys belong to Christ. You know, keys represent where you go or where you don't go. And there are people in places that certainly we should avoid. Psalm 1, 1 Corinthians 15, 33 both tell us this. However, we can't serve one another or reach the lost if we close ourselves away, if we lock ourselves out. Friends, it's easy to sit home and do nothing, especially after the last couple of years. But going is an essential part of the Christian life but also our phone belongs to Christ. With so many functions, this could be a metaphor for many areas in life, but we'll limit ourselves to two. First, Christ is Lord of the way that we communicate. James 3 highlights all of the problems that mankind has with bridling the tongue. The fingers may be even worse as we can hide behind a keyboard and post or text comments that we might never be bold enough to say out loud. But we are to let no unwholesome word come out of our mouths, or out of our fingers for that matter, and consider our words for how they will give grace to and meet the needs of those that are listening, Ephesians 4.29. But secondly, Christ is Lord of the places that you visit on your phone. Pornography, slanderous commentary, godless indoctrination, and more are all just a click or two away at any given time. Friends, we cannot afford 
to keep our phone in a separate pocket from our religion. But also our money belongs to Christ. Your business card belongs to Christ. Your clothing belongs to Christ. Friends, the list could go on and on. And we could talk about so many other things. But we'll leave it at that. Friends, think about what you could add. What do you have on your person right now and how does it belong to Christ? As you look around your home, how do the things that you see belong to Christ? Don't believe the lie that compartmentalization is a valid practice in the Christian life, for Christ is Lord over everything that we are. And though this can sound burdensome, the more that you live under his rule, the more that you realize that this is where true joy is found. Friends, we thank you for joining us for our program today, and have a blessed day.